Dr. Ashen, good we have a doctor here since we need some help. Uh, but oh, it's good to have you back. Been going for the past Thank couple you, days. Sir. So we're all back here. We want to begin with the latest coronavirus case numbers, as we often do. From Johns Hopkins University, now more than 150.5 million coronavirus infections confirmed worldwide. Deaths in the U.S. now exceeding 575,000. CDC reporting, though, nearly 100 million people here at home are now fully vaccinated. That is certainly some encouraging news on the vaccination front. We also have some encouraging news on a treatment for COVID-19. Exactly, you guys. So here's what you need to know. We heard from the CEO of Pfizer that there is some promising drug development. This would be a pill against symptomatic COVID-19, uh, so oral medication to be taken at really the first signs of illness. So again, this is for out of hospital patients. This would be really important in our toolbox. Um, the class of drug, we've seen this before, it's called a protease inhibitor. So it's used to treat hepatitis C and HIV as an antiviral type medication. And according to the CEO of Pfizer, this could be available by the end of this year. So this is really promising news. Promising, big picture though. What does this do for us? The big picture, we have to keep an eye on multiple things. We've seen incredible progress in terms of testing, diagnosis, now, of course, treatment. But again, this is a global situation. We see countries like India in the thick of it right now. And infectious disease and public health experts think it's good chance that this could become endemic, meaning this will just be living with us. But that is way down the road. We still have to be vigilant right now. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you and good to have you back. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.